So my name is Duncan Webster, and I'm an infectious diseases physician and medical microbiologist at the St. John Regional Hospital. I'm from St. John originally, and when I came back home to work, uh, I really struck by the uh, amount of infectious disease I was seeing uh, on an inpatient and outpatient basis related to addiction. So what we found is that with, if you look at marginalized populations locally within St. John, within New Brunswick, you could easily argue that the most relevant infectious disease or communicable disease is hepatitis C. So if we take uh, our opiate addicted population locally, about 50% of people are hepatitis C positive. And what we're seeing now is we've got the opportunity to do a screening which can help us with uh, prevention strategies and with the new direct acting antivirals there's an opportunity to, to treat very effectively and new curative therapies. So with that it's really important we gather information to help us to provide optimal care and to use taxpayer dollars wisely. Uh, another area of interest that I have is uh, zoonosis or zoonotic infectious diseases which would be infections acquired through exposure to animals and what we're seeing within New Brunswick is as we have warmer climate we're starting to see some infections that were traditionally more common south of us through through New England and, and further south along the eastern seaboard now become more prominent locally in, in New Brunswick so we have the opportunity to do seroprevalence studies to get some baseline data what is going on in New Brunswick we actually don't have a great idea because we haven't done the research to this point to see on a, pop, on a population basis what is the serial prevalence and so we through funding we've been able to uh, work towards acquiring sera on a population uh, basis and identify serial prevalence rates for some of these tick-borne and, uh, and mosquito-borne illnesses within New Brunswick. And so my experiences with regards to obtaining funding have been quite positive uh, but with regards to our hepatitis C uh, work. We're working with marginalized populations and so it's not just a one-off research project but it really does involve ongoing clinical care, prevention and treatment and, and ongoing follow-up uh, and so for that reason to have, a, to have sustainability is critical and that's been a challenge because we can get dollars that work for a time but if those dollars run up and we can't sustain then there are major issues with regards to clinical care and ongoing follow-up. So it has been a challenge. Mm -hmm.